What's going on, Traeger Nation? It's your favorite rock star chef, Chef J Rob, cooking on the Traeger Flat Rock to bring you the best brunch recipe stuffed French toast. So, when it comes to nailing this French toast, there's three components that you just got to make sure you nail the custard, which is going to be that batter, that sugary vanilla warmness that hits on the skillet. Uh, you also have your filling, it's going to be almost like a cheesecake filling, if you will, that's gonna be in your stuffed French toast. And then your blueberry compote. Now don't get afraid of that word, it's just a simple way of saying a nice refreshing blueberry topping. So we're gonna go through these three main steps to make sure that you nail, so let's rock and roll. You're gonna eat blueberries, sugar, and one whole lemon. Now, the key to this is to go ahead and extract the juice cells within your lemon. And you should do this for any of your citrus, right? Because this is really what's gonna open up and get a nice fragrance and flavor within any dish that you make. So the key now is to go ahead and take our blueberries, let's take some sugar. Before we go ahead and juice this bad boy, we're gonna go ahead and zest it. The purpose of zesting your citrus, it really gives a nice color pop and it adds a fragrance that is unmatched. And you can kind of see how beautiful this looks within the compote that we're making. We're gonna go ahead and juice this bad boy. So if you ever slice into a lemon or any citrus and you get that seed and you don't want it to fall into your dish, I'm gonna show you that quick little hack. You're gonna cut on the outer fourth. Anytime you cut on the outer fourth, you won't get a seed. And then you can go ahead and take your juicer, if you have one, and squeeze into your blueberry compote. So we're getting the nice sweetness of the blueberry to be extracted from the acidity of the lemon. And we're gonna let this sit to the side while we start working on everything else. So then when it comes down to cooking everything, it's gonna be that much more flavorful. And the next step is gonna be our filling. Now this is the money. This is the essence of that bite when you bite into that stuffed French toast. So what we're gonna need is some sugar, blueberries, and some room temp cream cheese. Keyword, room temperature. You want this to be an easy process. You don't wanna break your wrist while you're folding it. So the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and add in your blueberries, add in some sugar, and then we wanna add in our room temp cream cheese and just fold this nicely on in. Now what this does is really, really, really creates a perfect glue for your brioche bread. So now that I've finished that, we're gonna sit that to the side and we're gonna get down to our third and final component, which is our custard. We're gonna take some eggs, sugar, and vanilla extract. Again, three easy ingredients that you're gonna combine into your bowl so that when it comes time to slice that brioche bread, you want it nice and thick. We're gonna hit it on each side and throw that bad boy on the flat rock, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and crack in three eggs. Once we have our three eggs in, we're gonna go ahead and whisk this around. So now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and whisk in gradually our vanilla extract. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in a little sugar. Shout out to all my people with the sweet tooth. Now, there's different breads that you can use for stuffed French toast, but nothing beats the Roy's Royce of the French toast bread, brioche bread. So we're gonna go ahead and get this brioche slashed into half inch slices. Again, we want this bad boy thick. So we're gonna go ahead and slice these Nobody likes the ends, right? So we're gonna sit that to the side. We're gonna go ahead and load up our custard. We're gonna load up our compote. And then I'm gonna bring in this filling on the side. We're gonna head over to the flat rock. It's time to rock and roll. So we're gonna go ahead and get this up to a nice medium high heat. Now the key is to go ahead and brown your butter, but you don't wanna burn your butter, right? So we're gonna go ahead and spread this and coat a nice buttery layer on our flat rock so that we can lay our brioche bread. Real simple, guys. What you're gonna do is take it, toss it, flip it, turn it, and lay that bad boy right on top of the flat rock. You're gonna do this for all your slices, and we're gonna let these cook on each side for a couple of minutes, just until we get a nice brown uh, crust on the layer. So now that our pan and skillet is on a nice high temperature, we're gonna go ahead and melt down our butter, add in our blueberries. Get a nice little sizzle in there. 
And that's the beauty of the flat rock. You have so much surface area to work on with your actual French toast, as well as your compote that is being created. So we're gonna give these a nice flip. As you can see, we have a beautiful golden brown crust. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is lay on the filling of our mixture to make that stuffed French toast component, right? And add a nice amount, whichever amount you desire. I'm trying to just go ahead and evenly spread these bad boys on this French toast. So now that we got our filling in, we're gonna go ahead and assemble our stuffed French toast sandwich. So I'm gonna take this, give it a nice pat on each side. Have a beautiful golden crust. I'm gonna let this go just for a little bit longer. Just a touch of another minute on the same side that is currently on. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this off uh, just so that we can remove the heat that's underneath the compote. So as you can see, we have a beautiful brown crust on our French toast. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Um, you know that your French toast is done. You just want that last 30 to 45 seconds to really make a gooey filling. So on that low sizzle, you can kind of see how the compote is moving really, really slow. It's not really fluid like a liquid. And it's almost the consistency of a jam. So that's when you know that your compote is finished. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get straight to it. I'm just gonna take this one off the top. Now, really have so many different ways that you can go about cutting this. But if you're serving this like me and you're a French toast monster, I mean, I would cut this bad boy out of bias. Go ahead and I mean, look at this. It's just sitting so good. Man, you see how thick it is. Just give this a nice stir. You see the heat coming off of it. The aromas of that lemon zest is really coming through. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's set that to the side. We'll go ahead and take a lemon and zest this on. Oh, yes, sir. All right. And then back at home, I like to use just a little bit of some cinnamon sugar as that extra garnish over top. And last but not least, that little pop of green, which is gonna be your mint for the garnish. And even if you get a little bite of it, it's gonna add a nice refreshing kick to your stuffed French toast. I mean, come on guys, if it doesn't scream good morning, I don't know what does. This stuffed French toast is gonna to be the most awesome brunch recipe, and I'm just gotta get straight into it. I know I got some utensils, but it's looking too good just to go ahead and grab and bite. Ma'am. Oh, ma'am. This right here is a banger. This is your brunch banger right here. There's nothing else that needs to be served with this at all. This right here is a rock star recipe by itself. It's the ultimate brunch recipe that you can nail on your flat rock. For recipes and more, be sure to check out Traeger.com or just simply click the app on your phone.